In this video we're going to look at query sets and we're going to look at how to take unions, differences and intersections and different mechanisms that we can use in Django to do these operations. And we're going to base this video off of the code that we wrote in this tutorial here. It's Django Alpine JS examples. And within that repository, which will be linked in the description, we have a band model with two fields, a name and a genre. And we're going to use this model throughout the tutorial. Now, if you're cloning that repository, make sure you run the migrate command to generate the database. And once you've run migrate, you can also run this load bands manage.py script. So it's python manage.py load bands, and that will load a bunch of bands from this file here at the left, bands.py, into your database. So you can get set up that way, and we're going to use that for this tutorial. Now, we're going to work in the Django shell here, so I'll run the shell plus command. And what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to define a dunder string method within the model. So we'll paste that in here and fix the indentation. And the dunder string method is just going to return the name of the band. So once we've done that, we can load up the shell where we're going to work in this tutorial. So let's demonstrate a few queries now. We have the query to get all of the bands in the database. It's band.objects.all and that returns a query set of bands. And we can also look at how to get the different distinct genres in the database. So we can use the values list function for that. And to that we pass the name of the field. In this case it's genre and we'll flatten that into a Python list. And that gives us basically a query set which is a list of different genres and we can use the dot distinct function to get the distinct genres. And you can see in this particular database, we have six distinct genres. So we're gonna look at ways of combining query sets and we're also gonna look at the SQL queries that actually get issued when we do that. So let's say that we wanted to find all the punk bands. We can issue a query such as band.objects.filter and we can pass genre equals punk to that as an argument. So now when we look at these punk bands, you see that we have all of them such as the Ramones. And we can also get all of the rock bands, the classic rock bands with this statement here. Same as above, except we change the genre and that will give us the rock bands. So now we have two query sets, one for punk bands and one for the rock bands. And we can combine these into one query set using the OR operator. So punk, OR, rock, and that vertical pipe there that's the OR operator. So when we do that, we get an another query set returned which contains the punk bands and the rock bands within the two query sets. So we can set that to a variable called combined. And what you can then do is you can inspect the query that was actually issued. Now, if we look at the dot query attribute, we get back a Django query object. And to that, we can actually print out the string and we get back the select statement that was issued. And when we look at this or statement, punk or rock, you see that the where clause within the select, it looks at the genre being punk or the genre being classic rock in order to issue that query. Now, an alternative way of doing this is to set a variable called combine two, and that's gonna be equal to punk.union rock. Now, what this is gonna do is it will take the punk bands and it will union that query set with the rock bands. And that will give us back uh, another query set which is basically equal to what we had before but we're using the query set dot union method to do that and if we look at the query that was issued here if we print that out to the terminal we should now see that it's slightly different in this case we get all of the bands where the genre is punk then we union that with all of the bands where the genre is rock so it's a different sql query under the hood so you might want to be mindful of what queries you're issuing. These are different ways of doing the same thing. So if you have two query sets, let's say one for punk bands and one for rock bands, and you want to join them together into one query set, you can use the union function, or you can use this syntax here where you're doing the or operation. And you can also use Django's Q objects to do this. So we could set up two Q objects here and you do that with the Q operator and we pass a genre equals punk in this case. And we can also set this for rock. We can set the Q with the genre of rock or rather classic rock. So we have now two Q objects and then we can issue a normal band.objects.filter and we can then say punk Q or rock Q. That's a different way of doing it where we can actually grab the bands in one 
SQL statement. The previous examples we had two query sets, let's say we've gotten them from some other source and combined them using the union. In this case, we are issuing a filter statement where we take the punk bands that we've got with this Q expression and the rock bands with the other one and we use the OR operator to join them together and get back the punk and the rock bands. So what I now want to do is get all bands beginning with the letters A, B, C or D. And to do that, let's look at this operation here, band.objects.filter. And we look at the name and we want to get the band names that start with A, B, C or D. And we're going to look this up with the I regex here. And we'll specify a regular expression as the statement here within our filter. So we want this regular expression to start with one of those letters. So it's going to start with A to D, any one of those letters. And then after that, we have any number of characters before the end of the string. Now, if we execute that, we get all of the bands beginning with A and B. And how many are there? We can chain the dot count call and we see that there are seven of those. So I'm going to store those bands in a variable and we'll call it bands AD. And we might now want to ask the question, how many of those bands beginning with A, B, C or D are punk bands? And we can use the query set intersection method to find this out. So I could say bands AD dot intersection and we'll provide to that the punk bands that we had earlier on and that will return the punk bands that begin with one of those letters and you can see there's only one of them, black flag. So that's how you can use the intersection method to find the common elements within two query sets. And under the hood, if we look at the SQL query that's issued here, if we print that out to the terminal, you can see that we're using the SQL intersect keyword in order to perform this query. Now this is another keyword in SQL that can be used to perform these set operations on your data. And there's another way of doing this, just like with the union and the or operator, we can use the and operator here to combine the bands beginning with A and D and the punk bands and that will return to us that single punk band that begins with one of those letters. So this is an alternative syntax here, you can use the AND operator, and these closely match up with Python's set operators as well, so that should be intuitive if you've worked with sets before. And of course there are other ways of doing this, we could take our bands beginning with A and D and we could then issue another filter where the genre is equal to punk. That would be perfectly acceptable, it's just another way of doing it and we get back black flag in that case. And in fact we can do this in one line and it would be this line here. We filter with the name beginning with A to D and we also pass to that filter a second keyword argument for the genre and if we execute that we get black flag back. So that's another way of doing it where you can issue it in one query. If you have parts of the query sets in different variables though, you might want to look at one of the previous methods. These are just different ways of working with query sets and combining data to get the results you want. Now something interesting that we can do is we could look at the bands beginning with A and D and we could use the OR operator. And this is gonna return all of the bands beginning with A, B, C or D as well as the punk bands. Now, you'll note that black flag appears in both of these query sets, but you can see here, it's only in this query set once when we use the OR operator. So the OR operator is actually gonna remove the duplicate of black flag. It's only gonna be present once in the final query set. That may or may not be the desired behavior you want, but you can change this if you use the union function. And let's see how to do that. If I said bands AD dot union with the punk bands, now that will give us back a similar result by default. Uh, black flag only appears once in this query set. However, we can pass a keyword argument all equals true. And if we do that, you should now see that black flag actually appears twice in this query set, once here and also once here. So because black flag is a band beginning with A, B, C and D, and it's also a punk band, when we specify all equals true, we don't drop the duplicate from that final query set. This behavior is only possible using the union function. Um, if you want to keep the duplicates around, you pass it that keyword argument and it will do so. If you're using the OR operator as we did up here, this will not happen. You will automatically have the unique elements in your final query set. So we've seen how to do unions and intersections. There's another set operation called the difference operation. And we're gonna see how to do that now. Now let's say as an example, you want to find all of the bands beginning with A, B, C, and D, but you want to exclude the punk bands because you hate punk music. So what we can do is we can actually use the difference method. This is another query set method. Bands AD dot difference. 
and we pass to that a second query set, the punk bands, and that's going to return all of the bands beginning with A to D that are not punk bands. And when we execute that, we get all of those bands beginning with A, B, C, and D, except for the one punk band, which is black flag. So all of the other bands are present in the final query set. And another way to do this, rather than using the difference function, is we could say bands AD dot exclude genre equals punk and that will exclude any bands who are punk bands from that final query set. It's just another different way of doing the same thing in Django's ORM. And if we look at the difference function and we look at the actual query that's being issued and we print that to the terminal, we find another SQL operator called accept being used here and that will give you the difference between the first query and the second query. So we've seen the union, intersect and accept operators in SQL. You can find out more about this in the PostgreSQL documentation, for example, um, where we have these three operators explained in more detail, but they are basically used for set operations in your database data and Django can issue these directly using the query set methods. So to finish off this video, I'm going to pose a sample problem here. We want to get all bands beginning with a vowel or an S and we want those bands to either be jazz or hip hop artists. So let's break this down one step at a time. We're going to define some Q objects here. Now I'm going to define starts with and this is going to be a Q object that says the name should start with a vowel or an S. So I'm again going to use the I regex call here and to that we're going to pass a regular expression here which states that the band should begin with one of those letters. So the vowels are A, E, I, O and U and we also have an S required here so we will put an S in there as well. That's the letters we want to check that the band starts with and after that we can have any number of characters before the end of the string. So this is the Q expression that should get us that result that we want. So we'll define that there and that's now stored within a starts with variable. Now the second part of this requirement is that the bands should either be jazz or hip hop artists. So to do that I'm going to define jazz hip hop. That's going to be another Q expression where the genre should be in a list here of jazz and hip hop. So that's the list that we're defining that we want the genre to be in. So that's our two Q expressions for this statement. And now we can use band.objects.filter and we can then pass in these two expressions. So pass in starts with and we'll and that with the jazz hip hop band. And that will give us back all of the bands that start with one of those letters there that are also jazz and hip hop bands. And we see we get a result where we have these four jazz artists Albert Eiler, Eric Dolphy, Sunra and Ornette Coleman and these all begin with the correct letters, it's one of these letters here and they are all jazz artists and I think the reason that we don't have any hip hop artists is because I have not said hip hop here, I've said hip hip let's try and change that right now and change that to hip hop so I'll redefine jazz hip hop and then we can rerun this query and now we get a better result where we have some hip hop artists such as the Souls of Mischief and a tribe called Quest in this query set. So that's a bit better. We're now getting jazz and hip hop artists and we're also getting those only those that begin with vowels or an S. So that's how to do that in Django. We define a couple of Q objects and then we execute a query passing those Q objects into the filter function and we can use any logical operator within that function as well. If we wanted to do an OR query here rather than an AND we could do that and that will give us all of the bands that start with one of those letters and all of the jazz and hip hop bands so that will give us a much larger query set. If we look at the count here we get 18 bands whereas before with the AND we only get 7 bands for that one. So that's all for this video. We've demonstrated a few ways to do query set operations in Django different methods for achieving similar results and we'll be doing more videos on Django ORM and query set operations in the near future. So if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.